Mark Twain, the legendary American author and a good friend, always had a thing or two to say about spellings. He couldn't really understand why Vinci in Leonardo da Vinci's name was pronounced Vinci but spelled as Vinci. It's quite a really, it's quite a great thought actually. I often wonder about things like these. Now, talking of one such classic Hindi film of the 70s called Chupke Chupke, which raised the question of when P-U-T is written and pronounced as put, then why is B-U-T not boot but but? I think that the geniuses in our studio today will help us find answers to many more interesting questions like these. And of course, we have some great people here, great talent here. We'll learn a lot. My name is Cyrus and welcome to HTFC Standard Life Spell B in association with Cello Pens and Crizal. You're watching the National Geographic channel. No, I am not an animal. Don't be scared. It's yet another one of our semi-finals as we move a step closer to knowing the Indian who can truly spell magically and brilliantly. The youngster who flies his way through Washington DC to witness the International Spelling Bee Contest in the August presence, even though it's held in July, of several great minds. Let's say a quick hello to our teams. Today's episode has students from Mumbai, Delhi and Ahmedabad. And of course, a big round of applause for our wonderful studio audience. <laughs> All right, first up, we have Team A. Please introduce yourselves, Mumbai. Hello, my name is Prerna Dalal. I'm from Class 8 of Convent Girls High School, Prabhadevi, Mumbai. All right. Hi, I'm Tarishi Sonthalia. I'm in 8th Standard in Villa Teresa High School, Pedder Road. Thank you for being here. Give them a round of applause, please. And next is Team B, they are from Delhi. How does it feel to be here, Team B? Excellent. I'm Sanjay Churewala. I'm in class 8th in Delhi Public School, Dwarka, New Delhi. I'm V. Harish uh, of 9th Standard. I study in KV Sector 2, RK Puram, in New Delhi. Nice to have you guys here. Next is our Team C from Ahmedabad. My name is Varsha. I'm 13 years old. I'm in class 7 and I'm studying in Cosmos Castle International School in Ahmedabad. And is this your school uniform? Yeah. I like it. Thank you. What about you, sir? My name is Prem Shah. I'm from class 8, NR High School, Ahmedabad. All right. Welcome, all of you. A very, very warm welcome to everyone. Play hard, play fair and may the best team win. Cheering and guiding them will be our very own human dictionary. Please welcome Shatarupa Chaudhary, Managing Editor of Bilingual Dictionaries at the Oxford University Press. Shatarupa, thank you for being here. Thank you, Cyrus. Okay, I wanted to actually ask you something. You know, why is the French bread croissant called croissant and not croissant? Because that's how it's spelled, right? C-R-O-I-S-A-N-T. Yes. Um, I'm going to go to the Oxford Dictionary. Okay. And tell you what the origin is. It actually comes from a late 19th century French word which meant crescent. Okay. And because the bread or the roll is shaped like a crescent. Ah. So, croissant. After eating my croissant, I am suddenly French. And my guest list for the party is still not closed. I have someone in mind who I want to invite immediately. I don't know where to start. She is a trained Bharatanatyam dancer, a model, a former Miss India, and she has an MBA from the Indian School of Business. She was also a state-level tennis player, Puk, and is married to one of India's greatest ever sportsmen. Together, they run a very successful sports management company. No, not the spots on your face. Uh, sports, as in sports, football, TT, tennis. So, ladies and gentlemen, kindly welcome Shweta Jai Shankar. Not three people, but one. Shweta Jai Shankar, Talia. Thank so, Shweta, you. now that you're here, we have to know. You look like you're all completely collected and sorted, but as a student, when you were in school, how were you with spellings and the English language? Were you a good student or a really bad one? Um, I would say it was pretty good. I would take part in quizzes and, um, you know, of course, at that point, we didn't have MS Word, so, you know, no spell check automatic, so you had to do it yourself. Shweta, you know, like every kid likes to play sports, but, you know, there are lots of parents, even though kids are really good at a sport, they always sort of tell their kids, you know, that, okay, you're good at it, but you're not really going to become a Mahesh Bhupati or a Sachin Tendulkar or a Cyrus Saukar. You can't be that, okay? I'm great at TT, huh, by the way. So, so what do you think? What do you have to say about that? Is there really a great career in sports? And if someone is really good at sports, do you think they have a bright future? What's your opinion? I think it's important to have an all-rounded experience in school. Um, you know, I did a little bit of music and dance and as well as sports and of course academics was important and uh, I think it really contributes to you being a well-rounded person and more prepared, you know, to take on the world. So I would say that, you know, go for it. So let's roll. This is the first round on the HDFC Standard Life Spell B called Spell It Out. <laughs>
Each team gets a word and has the time limit of 45 seconds to spell it correctly. There will be a bearer 30 seconds to notify that 15 seconds remain. A correct answer fetches you 10 points and this round does not have any negative marking because we like you all. You have to be really, really sharp and remember, Shaturupa is our angel over here. She is going to help you out with anything you need, which is the language of origin of the word. If you want part of the speech, you want synonyms or the meaning of the word, you can ask her freely. There's no points which are going to be deducted. Feel free to ask her that because it may help you get the correct spelling. Okay? Now, you know the old saying, better lucky than good. Well, I wish you guys all the best and hope that you guys get really lucky and do extremely well. Let's get going with Team A. Team A, Mumbai, are you ready, girls? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Your word is salami. S-A-L-A-M-I. Uh, S-A-L-A-M-I. That is correct. Round of applause. <laughs> Delhi, your word is digestion. D-I-G-E-S-T-I-O-N. Correct. Team C, Ahmedabad, I've seen you all at lunch. Your word is gluttony. Sorry? Gluttony. G-L-U-T-T-O-N-I. Y, sorry. G-L-U-T-T-O-N-Y. Correct. <laughs> Mumbai, your word is constipation after the gluttony. Um, C-O-N-S-T-I-P-A-T-I-O-N. Correct, well done. Everybody's doing really well at this point. Delhi, let's see if you keep up the success. Nutritionist. N U T R I T I O N I S T. Correct. Well done, Delhi. Very good. Audience members also very happy with you all. Okay, here's your word. Depilatory. Ahmedabad. Depilatory. Can I have the meaning, please? Uh, it means it's an adjective used to remove unwanted hair. Unwanted hair? That's right. Ahmedabad, time is ticking away. Yeah. Ten seconds left. Go for it. D E P I L A T O R Y. Oh, that is correct, Ahmedabad. Well done. <laughs> Mumbai, your word is peroxide. P E R O X I D E. Correct. <laughs> Delhi. Tweez. Uh, can I have the meaning? Here's the meaning. Pluck, grasp, or pull with tweezers. T-W-E-E-Z-E. -E -E. Correct. Well done, Delhi. And Ahmedabad, if you get this word right, I think you all have scored 100%. Your word is delirium. Delirium. D-E-L-I-R-I-U-M. Oh, that's right, Ahmedabad. Well done. What a fantastic round, number one. Everybody scored brilliantly. In fact, it's been perfect. It's a perfect round. Now, I don't know how you guys have done this. I haven't shown you these words before, even though you've been asking. I think the audience agrees. Give them a round of applause. Well done, right? Excellent. And for us spellers watching this at home, I know you don't want to be in my shoes, but be where these guys are right now. You don't want to see how Team A and Mumbai got here, do you? You do. Well done then, because that's exactly what we've got for all of you. The lovely journey that the Mumbai team took to get here to reach this spell B. And of course, we're going to take a short little break. And here is your wonderful brain teaser. There were more than 900 children, I think. So I really didn't think I would reach this far. Even, even you know, qualify for in the top 15 for Mumbai. Uh, and when I, I qualified and then I was among the top four uh, and I reached the semi-finals, I couldn't believe it at first and then, you know, it was a lot of fun. I didn't expect this, but... 
my favorite word is inspiration that's the meaning of my name and you know it's thanks to the inspiration of so many different people that i'm here today Welcome back. You're watching HKFC Standard Life Spellby on National Geographic Channel, and I am Rupa, your friend. My my parents wanted a daughter. It's not my fault. Anyway, quite a thing of language that doesn't have too many words of its own and imports words to contribute a word to five other languages. I learned that one in a sauna bath while talking to myself. It's unbelievable what can happen when you listen to yourself. It's really beautiful. You must try it at home, many of you. All right, guys, we're about to start our round number two at the HTFC Standard Life Spell B, and it's called Wordplay. Well done. All right, guys, you will get a word with eight alphabets. Following that will be a clue to the answer. All you need to do is hit the buzzer and answer the word correctly by spelling correctly, and this will win you ten points. But remember, a wrong answer or no show gets you minus two. In case the teams fail to answer, the question is open to other teams on the buzzer as well. Now you don't know how lucky you all really are, because the person who is going to quiz you is a former Miss India and a tennis lover, beauty with brains. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the very stunning and lovely Shweta Jay Shankar. Thank you for being here. It's lovely to be here. Shweta, time for you to take over now. So here's my first question. Um, make a three-letter word synonymous with spoil. Mumbai. Rot. Rot. R O T. Uh, that's incorrect. <laughs> Time up. The right answer is mar. The next clue is make a five-letter word making meaning representation of a form. Team March. On the bus. March. M E R G E. Uh, that's incorrect. <laughs> and the right answer is image. So here's your clue. Make a four-letter word meaning fury. <laughs> Team R Delhi. R A G E. Rage. That's correct. Well done. <laughs> and here's your next clue. A four-letter synonym of heal, rectify, or remedy. Team Mumbai. Cure. C U R E. Well done. That's correct. <laughs> now make a four-letter word synonymous with cape. <laughs> well, time's up on that one. Right answer is robe. That's R O B E, robe. So better luck with this one. Make a five-letter word meaning household tasks. Team Ahmedabad. Course. C H O R E S. That's correct. Uh, this was a five-letter word, so it's chore. C H O R E without the S. Okay. But we'll give it to you, Team Ahmedabad. Are we ready for the next one? And here it is. A four-letter word synonymous with deceiver. Team Delhi. A R liar. That's correct. Well done. Make a four-letter word synonymous with acquire. That's time up. The answer is reap. R E A P. Make a five-letter word. Meaning a type of pants and also the name of an island. Oh. 
All right, Team Mumbai, go for it. C A P R I. That's absolutely correct. Well done. Okay, kids, are you ready for the next one? Yeah. Yeah. So here's your first clue. Make a five-letter word synonymous with top, pinnacle, and apex. Team Mumbai. Uh, mount. That's incorrect. Time up. The answer is crest. C R E S T. Better luck next time. Here's your next clue. Make a four-letter word meaning additional amounts. Team Mumbai. O R E more. Absolutely right. Well done. Ready for your next clue? Make a four-letter word synonymous with certain and confident. Team Ahmedabad. Some. S O M E. Unfortunately, that's incorrect. The answer is sure. S U R E. All right, kids. Well done. Um, good luck for the rest of the. Uh, Contest. I think you all got your spellings in order, and I've learned a few words today myself. We've had some real action in that round, and the scoreboard wants to sing now, even though it has a very bad voice. Team C Ahmedabad is at 36 points. Rounds of applause. Talia, Talia. Team A Mumbai at 56 points. While Team B Delhi at a close 50 points. So far, our leaders are the ladies, Team A from Mumbai. And I just have to say, Sar Otake Jio, you're doing really, really well. Wonderful. Keep it up. With so many bees buzzing around, we cannot not call this round Buzzing Bee. Now, in this round, Buzzing B, we have 20 spellings which are there for the taking. I will give you the words one after another. You have to hit the buzzer and answer them correctly. And that adds 10 points to your score. But if the answer is incorrect or you choose not to answer, you lose 5 points. Once you have gone for the buzzer, you will get only 5 seconds to answer. The question will not pass if the team gets it incorrectly. Okay, there's no pass in this round. So best of luck, all the teams. Look sharp on your buzzers. Here comes your first word. Contraception. Yes, Delhi. C-O-N-T-R-A-C-E-P-T-I-O-N. Correct, Delhi. Well done. Our next word is prohibition. Delhi. P-R-O-H-I-B-I-T-I-O-N. Fantastic. Absolutely wonderful. Your next word is explanation. Mumbai. E X P L A N A T I O N. Correct. Our next word is temperamental. Mumbai. T E M P E R A M E N T A L. Correct, Mumbai. Wonderful. Our next word is transgressive. Mumbai. T R A N S G R E S S I V E. Correct. Well done, Mumbai. Fantastic answer there. Disparagement. Ahmedabad. Disparagement. D I S P A R I G E M E N T. That is incorrect. I'm very sorry. It is D I S P A R A G E M E N T. Good try there. Our next word is unscrupulous. Delhi. U N. S C R U P U L O U S. Correct. Our next word is kayaking. Mumbai. K A Y A K I N G. Correct. Our next word is autograph. Delhi. A U T O G R A P H. Correct. Next word is flamboyant. Mumbai. F L A M B O Y A N T. Correct. Eccentricity. Delhi. E double C 
E E N T R I C I T Y. Correct. Our next word is vivacious. Mumbai. V I V A C I O U S. Correct. Well done. Well done, Mumbai. The next word is poultry. Delhi. P O U L T R Y. Correct. Very well done. Barbecue. Ahmedabad. B A R B E C U E. Correct. Casserole. Ahmedabad. C A S S E R O L E. Correct. Well done. <laughs> Truly. T R U L Y. Correct. Gastronomy. Delhi. G A S T R O N O M Y. Correct. Ingenious. Ahmedabad. E I N G E N O U S. That is incorrect. Municipality. Delhi. M U N I C I P A L A L I T Y. That is correct, Delhi. And that brings us to the end of this round. Time up. Round number three is over. I love the action. But then this was the kind of nerve wracking action that we love, guys. Take a bow. Good round. Give them a round of applause, please. Well, each time I ask you people sitting at home questions, my cook adds one extra dish for me at home. She now knows the origins of many words like brinjal. So that's coming up in just a bit when we go for a quick little break. But before you take a shot at that one, witness the fantastic journey of Team B that is Delhi. I don't think it's been easy by any stretch of imagination. And if you feel a little quizzical, you can also try the question that follows. Take a quick break, but don't go anywhere or I'll miss you. Come back. Actually, before the announcing of the top 10, I played a thumb wrestling match with my friend. I told him that if I beat him blindfolded, I would come in the top two. So I beat him and I came here. I went, I registered online, I went there. My mom said, Ki, your exams are coming. Shouldn't you prepare for exams rather than wasting your uh, half a day? Yeah. I said, no, uh, let me try. So uh, I went there and I uh, got selected. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching HTFC Standard Live Spell B on National Geographic Channel. My name is Cyrus, and so far, these kids have been tested for their spellings, their awareness, and their sharpness on the buzzer. But believe me, there is a lot more to come. It's time now for one of the most fascinating rounds called Save the Word. I will give you a clue relevant to the word. All you need to do is work out the word using alphabets from the English language. You need to pick one alphabet at a time and if it fits the word, the slot gets filled automatically, okay? If they happen to be wrong, the word gets one step closer to getting burnt. Ten wrong alphabets and the word gets completely burnt. Remember, only you can save this poor word. You must be nice to it. It has to start a family, go to college, do well in life. You get 90 seconds in which you get the correct answer. Answer wrongly and I shall be happily taking away two points. You get it? Remember also the word automatically goes into the right spot. So that's a good thing. Best of luck guys. Let's start now. Team A, if you're ready, here is your first clue. Started at St. Andrews in Scotland. A is incorrect. E. E is incorrect. I. I is incorrect. O. O is correct. C. C is incorrect. M. 
M is incorrect. Started at St. Andrews in Scotland. T. T is incorrect. N. N is incorrect. Save the word, save the word. B. D. Is the word D? Yeah. D is incorrect. D, D, D. D for donkey. Yeah. yeah. It is incorrect. D is incorrect. Yeah. B. B is incorrect. Why? Sviri, I'm so sorry. You? but they are all mounting one on top of the other. The poor word has been burnt. But the word is golf. I think you girls tried very well. Don't worry, there's lots more to gain. Not to worry whatsoever about this. <laughs> Delhi is looking more worried than even you are. Look at that, we are gone. Our health is bad. Are you ready? Yeah. Here is your clue. This series began developing under the title Insomnia Cafe in November 1993. A. A is incorrect. E. E is correct. Uh, R. R is correct. S. S is correct. P. P. B is incorrect. N. L is incorrect. No, N. N for like. N? N. For name. N is correct. Okay. Did we ask for an I? No, no, we didn't. Ask for 40 an seconds I? left. I. I is correct. Wow, nice. Oh, oh. Friends. Friends, Friends is the correct answer. Well done. And that's an interesting piece of trivia. Friends was originally a series which began developing under the title Insomnia Cafe in November of 1993. Did you know that? No. no. Now you do. <laughs> now Ahmedabad is smiling because Delhi's done well. All right, ready for your clue? Yeah. He always says, can we fix it? Bob the Builder. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's right. Marvelous. Bob the Builder, you, you've done a little bit more than <laughs> save the word. You've completely not let the word get into trouble whatsoever. Bob the Builder is a fantastic answer. There's You're a female character right. called Wendy and there's a blue, blue something crane. I you, think you're called You're really Lockie. watching this, huh? No, I used to watch it. My God, and you remember everything about Bob the Builder? Yeah, there was something called Dizzy, which is used to mix the cement or something. Okay, now don't ask so many questions, Mumbai. <laughs> I asked for one thing, you've given me 40 clues. <laughs> Mumbai, best of luck. Your clue is a Belgian detective. Hercule Poirot. That is right. <laughs> I told you these kids. Nowadays, no respect for the board, nothing. Hercule Pyro is excellent, very well done. All right. So lovely. India's most... Delhi, this one's for you. Yeah. yeah. India's most gold-laden Olympic sport. Thank God we are playing the game. Scary. H. Scary. H. Correct. O. That is right. C-K-E-Y. That is absolutely correct. <laughs> well done, Delhi. <laughs> 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 Fantastic, you all are. Okay, Ahmedabad. Yep. Please have patience now. <laughs> sure. <laughs> all right. Named after the school that William Webb Ellis went to. Okay. E. E is incorrect. A. A is incorrect. O. O is incorrect. I is incorrect. B? B is correct. Okay. Mm. Can I have the clue again? Sure. Named after the school that William 
Webb Ellis went to. S. S is incorrect. T. T is incorrect. C. C is incorrect. N. N is incorrect. U. U is correct. G. G is correct. Rugby. Rugby is correct. Marvelous. Marvelous. Wow. That was fun. I thought you guys were going to lose this one for sure. But I'm really impressed. Rugby is the correct answer. We've got time. You've done marvelously well. That brings us to the end of this round. Give them a huge round of applause. How much suspense we've gone through. Four rounds are done and two are left. We know the two finalists and two remain. My math is improving. I'm really impressed with myself. I can probably win the field medal in the next 2,000 years. Not bad. Ha ah, ah. ha. Anyway, let's see which team is the closest to making it on the national finals. Now, some of our contestants did manage to save the word, but some just gave it away. But then in life, you win some, you lose some. It's all right. We've got lots more rounds. Not too many, though. Actually, just two. Let's look at the scores as of now. They've all performed really well. This is some of the best teams I've ever come across. Let's take a quick look at the scores before we move on. Mumbai, you are at 136 points. <laughs> team B, Delhi is at 150 points. And Team C, Ahmedabad is at 66 points. Well done, we're proud of you all. So leading at this point is Team B from Delhi with 150 points. What is it? What is it? Now, you can get up. If you get up, you can get up. Right? All right, let's move on. And we're going to play round number five, where you can snap some points. And the round is called Snap It Up. <laughs> now, you know the good old saying, a picture speaks a thousand words. It does, provided it's a relatively good picture. If it's someone in the shower who's very hairy, it's going to be a problem. Anyway, in this round, you will see a grid appear on your screen with 24 blocks. The blocks will start disappearing one after the other. The picture remains open on the buzzer to any team which wants to answer it. You simply need to, very simply, hit the buzzer. All right? Hit the buzzer at the right time, everything will work out. Then you have to identify the picture correctly in 30 seconds. But remember, once you have gone for the buzzer, you have only five seconds to answer. In case you identify the picture correctly and get the correct spelling in it, you get 15 points. Five for identifying, five for spelling, and five as a special bonus from Uncle Cyrus. Talia. <laughs> now, if you identify correctly but fail to get the spelling, five points are still up for grabs to the other teams. But you need to hit the buzzer and answer correctly. Everything clear? Yep. It's very easy. Also, a wrong identification or no answer after the buzzer is an automatic minus five. So guys, get ready. This is a really important round with a huge scoring potential. 15 points. All right, guys, here is your first question. Identify the animal in the picture. Time's running out. Anybody? I'm, I'm getting a wild guess. I thought it was a man it, with a large nose. <laughs> is it a quail? Quail, no, it's not a quail. Okay. It uh, is a Baltimore Oriole. Okay. Is it the right pronunciation? <laughs> I've got a bad feeling about my pronunciation. I think it's right? It's right. I yeah. got the thumbs up from this one. Excellent. I'm very impressed with myself. All right. Hopefully, you all will figure stuff out as we go by. Here is the next question. Identify the profession of the person in the picture. Remember, 15 points to be gained. Be sharp and aware. Very little time left. Okay, Delhi. It's an astronaut. Correct, you're right. Can you spell it, Delhi? 
A S T R O N A U T. You got 15 points. They're all yours. I am impressed. Excellent. Now you're getting the hang of it. Here's your next question. Identify the profession of the person in the picture. Oops, time up. Nobody? No idea. Sculptor. Ah. Here's another question. We always can rectify our mistakes. Identify the musical instrument in this picture. It is a musical instrument. Delhi. Xylophone. My God, I am impressed. Xylophone is the correct answer. Now, if you can spell it, I'll be super impressed. X-Y-L-O-P-H-O-N-E. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Fabulous. Well, you're good with your musical instruments. Let's see how you do with this one. Identify the musical instrument in this picture. Mumbai. Trumpet. Trumpet is incorrect. So you get minus five for that one. Ahmedabad. Drums. Drums. Drums is incorrect. Minus five for Ahmedabad. Mumbai. Bongos. Bongos. Bongos are correct. It's the correct answer. It's actually bongo. Well done, I'm impressed. Now, I think you can spell this one. B-O-N-G-O. Well done, Mumbai. 15 points for the brave girls. Good comeback, huh? All right, here comes our next question. Once again, we are becoming an extremely musical show. Identify the musical instrument in this picture. Big, big clue already revealed. Delhi. Trumpet. Trumpet, uh, no, that's, that is incorrect. Minus five for you. Saxophone. Saxophone is the correct answer. Now you spell that for me. S-A-X-O-P-H-O-N-E. Superb, Mumbai. And good try, Delhi. All right. Here is your next question. Identify the famous monument in the picture. All right, Mumbai, your answer is? Christ the Redeemer. Christ the Redeemer is correct. Wonderful. <laughs> now, if you can spell it for us. Yeah. C H R I S T space T H E space R E D E E M E R. Absolutely right. Wonderful answer. All right. Identify the next monument which took over 14 years to build. Ahmedabad. Roman Colosseum. That is incorrect. Mumbai. Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore is correct. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You got to spell that for me. M O U N T space R U S H M O R E. Superb. 15 more points. It's been fascinating for all of us and an exciting journey so far. But there is still the last few steps that remain. But before we walk down that road, we also need to take a quick little break. Let us take a little bit of a moment, reflect on also Team C's fantastic journey over here. Ahmedabad's done very well. 
but it's not been easy for them to get to this position. And that's not all though, I will also ask you a question which will get your minds rolling. So see you guys quickly after a short little break. Principal called me and she was like, uh, these people are from spelling bee. We, they're taking, they're, they're taking a test. And uh, once I passed, she was like, uh, you, you have to go to this place and you have to take part in all that. So I, I, to, I went and I took part. And uh, what they did was they corrected my paper first. I didn't ask them to, but they corrected my paper first. And they told me my marks. I was like, really? <laughs> did I get that much? So I used to see spell, the spell bee international. Uh, so I came across the spellings and then the uh, HDFC spelling bee came to my school. So I was thrilled to have it. Hi, you're watching HTFC Standard Live Spellbee on National Geographic Channel. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And next up is our rapid fire round. Now, this round will test you guys for having nerves of steel and a steely resolve. The teams must decide amongst themselves who they want to nominate to answer a rapid fire of spellings. You will have one minute to answer a maximum of 15 words. A correct answer is worth 10 points, an incorrect one is worth minus two. And no answer is worth me. I come free with no answers, also known as zero. Words will come at you like swarms, so chill and kill. Your partner has helped you out this far, but this is where one of you takes on the responsibility. So for this round, don't be too pally, no consultations, no chatting, no backslapping, no gentle whispers. We'll see everything and you will be disqualified if you help your partner. Remember, Washington is what awaits the best speller, but let's not run away with it. Are you guys ready? Yeah. All right, Mumbai, who are you nominating? Hi, it's me, Tarishi Santhalia. All right, Delhi. Hi, it's me, Sanchit. And from Ahmedabad. Hi, it's me, Varsha. All right, we're starting with Mumbai. Mumbai, ready? All right, your first word is beneficiary. B-E-N-E-F-I-C-I-A-R-Y. Correct. Your next word is iguana. I-G-U-A-N-U-A. -U -U Wrong. Your next word is lenient. L-E-N-I-A-N-T. That is wrong. Your next word is buoyant. B-U-O-Y-A-N-T. Correct. Your next word is catastrophe. C A T A. T R O P H E. That is incorrect. Your next word is abscess. A B S C E S S. Correct. Your next word is martyr. M A R T Y R. Correct. Your next word is spherical. S P H E R I C A L. Correct. Your next word is epitaph. Pass. Your next word is psychotic. P S Y C H O T I C. Correct. Your next word is asbestos. Pass. Pass. All right, time up for you. Very good job there, Mumbai. You got six correct answers, three incorrect ones, and two passes. Delhi, get ready. Let's see how you perform under the pressure now. Your time starts now, and your word is pistachio. P-I-S-T-A-C-H-I-O. Correct. Oblique. O-B-L-I-Q-U-E. Correct. Nauseous. N A U S E O U S. Correct. Catharsis. Uh, pass. Fallacious. Pass. Grammar. G R A M M A R. Correct. Marxism. C pass. Algebra. A L G E B R A. That's correct. Anatomy. A N A T O M Y. T O M Y. Correct. Equation. E-Q-U-A-T-I-O-N. That is correct. 
Halogen. A H A L O G E N. That is correct. Academia. A S A C A D E M I A L. A C A D E. That is incorrect. Osmosis. O S M O S I S. Correct. Pneumatics. Oops. Time up there, but I guess I'll give you the. P N E P N E U M A T I C S. That is correct. Delhi, you performed brilliantly. You got ten correct, three passes, and one incorrect. Marvelous. Ahmedabad, tayar? Yeah. Okay. All right, Ahmedabad. Your time starts now, and your first word is metaphysical. Pass. Linguistics. L i n g u i s t i c s. Correct. Alliteration. A l l i t e r a t i o n. Correct. Pythagoras. P y t h a. Sorry, repeat it. Pythagoras. P y t h a g o r a s. Correct. Trigonometry. Trigonometry. T r i g o n o m e t r y. Correct. Expressionism. E x p r e s s i o n i s m. Correct. Psychology. P s y c h o l o g y. Correct. Electromagnetic. E l e c t r o m e m a g n e t i c. Correct. Photosynthesis. P h o t o s s y n t h e s i s. Correct. Oops, times up. Long words there. Well done, well done. I thought you were marvelous. Ahmedabad, you've done marvelously. You got eight correct, no wrongs or no incorrect answers, and of course one pass. Great job. Now you all clap for our audience members. That was a spectacle of a round. I think all the teams truly deserve to be called champions. Sadly, only one of you will make it through. Let's take a look at the scoreboards to see which one of the teams have made it. We now have a clear picture, just like Crisol spectacle lenses. See better, spell better. Now, Team A Mumbai is at 245 points. <laughs> splendid performance, splendid performance. Team C Ahmedabad did very well with 136 points. Team B from Delhi with 273 points. Yes, Delhi. I'm sure winning today's round means a lot to them. Delhi has done exceptionally well, and they have taken that step to Washington a notch higher, a lot closer. We're almost at the end of this episode. I would like to thank our title partners, HDFC Standard Life, associate partner Cello Pens, Eye Care partner Crisol, and SLO Lens. Holiday specialist Make My Trip, airline partner Kingfisher Airlines, style partners Sisley, and hospitality partners. Shangri-La Resorts and Water Park and Sahara Star, online partners MSN and radio partners Radio Mirchi. Apart from moving on to the national finals, the winners of today's episode will also get. Let's see their faces when I say this: a check of twenty-five thousand rupees each from HTFC Standard Life. And to do the honors, please welcome Mr. Sanjay Tripathi, Executive Vice President and Head of Marketing, HTFC Standard Life. Thank you for being here, sir. Stand up. Respect. पच्चीस हजार रुपए बच्चों को बदल देता है कंग्रेचुलेशंस थ्री टीम्स डाउन वॉन्ट टू गो नाउ वी नो द टीम डेली इज गोइंग टू बैटल इट आउट विथ टीम्स जयपुर एंड हैदराबाद बट हु विल जॉइन दैम वेल यू ओनली हैव अ वीक to wait and find out join me again next week for another round of sizzling game on word power till then from all of us here at national geographic channel bye bye and thank you so much for watching cheers rasha tell me comedian do you think that will be a good career for you rather no. than spelling no not really it will be a problem for the mic of uh, people who set the mic they left us are really low <laughs> Time wasted. Oh, okay, okay. I'm not trouble. You don't want to trouble me. No. What's your name? Prem. Prem. Wow. You share your name with a lot of Salman Khans. Yeah, yeah. You know? So, are you are you wanting to build your body and become this really? Yeah, bust? of course. Show me your muscles right now. <laughs> <laughs>